You are amazing. You literally glow. No, seriously, humans glow in the dark. Just barely. We only emit a very small amount of light. Such a tiny amount that only specialized equipment can actually see it. The brightness of the light is about a thousand times dimmer than what humans can perceive. This glow is known as biophoton emission, which is slightly different from bioluminescence. The reason we produce the light is something related to our metabolism and highly reactive free radicals interacting with free-floating lipids and proteins and a whole lot of other stuff that I'm not about to try and explain. Also, you're tough. Kinda. Your skeleton is made of bones. Who knew? And those bones are stronger than steel. Well, kind of. Bones are stronger than steel by weight. So a regular bone isn't going to be stronger than a steel bone, since the steel is way more dense and thus weighs a lot more, and is thus much stronger. But if you made a steel bone using a small enough amount of steel that it weighed the same as a regular bone, the regular bone would be stronger than the steel bone. Your femur, also known as the thigh bone, is more special than most of your bones. It's not only the largest bone in your body, but also the thickest and strongest. It holds a lot of weight and often has a lot of force applied to it, such as when you're walking or running. So it had to be created incredibly strong, but it's probably far stronger than you'd expect. The femur is so strong that it can support about 30 times your body weight. That means just one femur from an average person weighing 62 kilograms could support nearly two tons, about the weight of an average car. And if you weighed more, such as 100 kilograms, four of your femurs would be able to support an entire semi-truck. Well, an empty one, at least. And also ignoring the fact that most humans don't have four legs. But that's still absolutely amazing. Oh, and another special bone is the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone is the only bone in the human body which is not directly connected to another bone. It's important for really minor things, like, um, speaking and swallowing. Anyway, something else besides your bones that makes you tough is your heart. It doesn't really matter how soft-hearted you are, you have an incredibly tough, or rather resilient, heart. Your heart, despite all its intricate and seemingly fragile mechanisms, has been working non-stop for your entire life. No rests, no stops for repair, just continuously pumping blood and keeping you alive at least for most of us. Your heart pumps blood through your blood vessels at up to 40 centimeters per second, the blood completing one entire circuit of your body in about 20 seconds. In those 20 seconds, it pumps around five liters of blood a total of four kilometers. That means in the average lifetime of 70 years, the heart pumps around 600 million liters of blood, which is about this much. The total distance the blood was pumped would be around 500 million kilometers, about the distance around the Earth 12,000 times, or three times the distance from Earth to the Sun. 500 million kilometers, 600 million liters of blood, 2.5 billion beats, and absolutely no breaks for rest. I'm getting tired just thinking about it, but you want to know something else that never stops? Your ears. You are constantly hearing the sounds around you even while you're sleeping, or even while you're unconscious. You are constantly hearing sounds. It's just that sometimes your brain chooses to ignore the sound or fails to process the sound. For example, you may have been woken up before because of a loud noise. In order for you to hear that noise, you had to be listening. Which, speaking of sleeping, your brain is very active with all your neurons firing billions or trillions of times per second. But what's crazy about this is that your brain can sometimes become more active while you're sleeping, exceeding the activity levels of the brain when you're awake. And there's something else fascinating about your brain. Well, there are a lot of fascinating things about your brain, but just one of those things is that your brain uses only about 20 watts of electricity. That is incredibly power efficient. For comparison, even a very basic laptop will generally use 20 watts while doing basic work, and more powerful laptops can easily use over 100 watts when working. But your brain uses only 20 watts to process super high resolution video and audio and perform billions of mathematical calculations, plus much, much more. 
It's just amazing that the brain does so much with so little energy. But as you can probably guess, this isn't the only amazing thing about you. Not just because I've said other things already, but also because you have around 68 trillion cells in your body. Although that's a very rough estimate. Around 38 trillion of those are bacteria, which does in a way mean that you are more bacteria than you are human. Of those remaining 30 trillion cells, which are human cells instead of bacteria, about 84% of them are red blood cells. Real surprising, I know. But anyway, red blood cells and actually several other types of cells don't have DNA once mature. But taking all the cells which do have DNA, each cell contains around 2 meters of DNA. So taking that 2 meters of DNA and multiplying it by the remaining 3 trillion human cells with DNA, we get a total measurement of about 6.7 billion kilometers of DNA. About enough to wrap around the entire Earth 166,000 times, or about the distance to the Sun 45 times. If we add in all the DNA from the bacteria in your body, the total length of the DNA would be about 52 million kilometers longer. So, if we combine the DNA from every person on the entire planet, the DNA would stretch all the way around our entire galaxy 21 times. All that compressed onto a tiny little ball floating in the middle of space. And that's just the DNA of humans. If we added the DNA of all the other living organisms into that, the length would be far, far longer. I'm not going to calculate it because um, there's this thing called uh, time and um, these things called leaves and uh, uh, basically time leaves. Anyway, well, I'm not going to calculate it. Other people have estimated that the total length of DNA on Earth is about 8 trillion light years long, which is enough to wrap around the entire observable universe 27 times. Now that is what I like to call uh, the, the end screen. That's, that's the end screen, which basically means the video's over and I'm trying to get you to watch more of my videos because my videos are packed with really cool facts and are actually pretty boring.